especially if we're speaking about destroying and causing chaos in your own neighborhood. That's never the answer. Time that Derek Chauvin got was so light and uncalled for. Are we now advocates that people should police the neighborhoods that they live in? Because if you police the areas that you live in, you're more comfortable with the people. What's good everybody, what's going on? This is Glass. Welcome to another episode of Better Daddy Follow Life. If you're new to this channel, go ahead and hit that button make sure you turn on your bell notifications too so you can stay in tune with every episode that comes out and make sure to chime back on our previous episodes to find something that you like we're gonna go ahead and get to this nice episode right now hey so it's official Derek Chauvin has been sentenced how do y'all feel about the time that he got do you feel joy do you feel vindicated? do you feel the time that he got justified the murder that we witnessed of George Floyd we're still talking about a man that will never see his children never walk his daughters down the aisle never tie his son's tie during prom never be at the hospital to be one of the first people to greet his grandchildren this is a serious thing this is a serious matter if that was your little one that got murdered do you feel that the time that Derek Chauvin got would have justified your little one would have put your family at ease when the holiday times roll around and you're thinking about that particular loved one. Do you think the judge was biased? Do you think the judge really took into account of the family's loss? Do you feel the judicial system upheld its law? I don't think rioting is the answer, especially if we're speaking about destroying and causing chaos in your own neighborhood. That's never the answer. The time that Derek Chauvin got was so light and uncalled for. Are we now advocates that people should police the neighborhoods that they live in? Because if you police the areas that you live in, you're more comfortable with the people. You know people, you know the community, and you know when and when not to use deadly force. You know when and when not to misuse your power. Police reform is real. It's something that we definitely have to address. It's a mentality of it. My shirt says everything. It starts with recognizing this here. Once you recognize that, then we can start to build a foundation because there is no foundation. Everybody's scared. Everybody's running around with guns. Everybody shoots first, asks questions later. But what about the recipient of that? What about the person that's just trying to make it back home to their family? They don't think about that. They don't consider that. They don't give a fuck about that. I don't know if they look at us as motherfucking animals. I know a lot of them look at us as animals. Objects, things. No, we are fucking people. We matter. Our children need us. Our family needs us. Our community needs us. We are already systematically behind. Let's not let situations like this take us from our loved ones and set our particular family generations back. This shit is so fucking aggravating. I'm damn near sweating right now because I'm so heated. But I did feel an obligation to my people to let you all know that I'm hurting with you. To send my condolences once again to George Floyd's family. We see now that we have to make a major impact in our local government first and foremost. We need to make sure that the people in our local government earn our votes they are our voices and they hear our cries if the people in your local government aren't speaking for you then you need to vote somebody else in this next term it's just that simple we started the local government and then began to expand ourselves out just the amount of time that he got i expected it to happen but to hear it and see it and just know that under plenty of other circumstances there are plenty of people that get an exorbitant amount of time for something less i'm still in shock i really don't even know what to say i'm definitely gonna need some more time to digest this we just as a people have to continue to stick together create our agenda enforce our agenda and make sure that our voice is heard even though on the normal terms they say 12 years is the about amount of time that it get for him to get so little of that really just pisses me the fuck off like completely it's really nothing else to say i'm here in the comments for any advice that y'all want to give or what y'all been doing in y'all specific cities and local governments to make changes like this to make sure that things like this don't happen in your city and your town where you're from and places you hold dear. Man, I don't even know what to say, man. Y'all holler at me. Bitter daddy, you know what I'm saying? Hey.